So hello guys, welcome, you already know what the title of this video is, you know what we're playing today, we're playing Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. So this is an RPG which was released back in 2012 for uh, both PC, PS3 and Xbox 360, released towards the end of that generation of consoles life cycles, and this game was just absolutely great. Um, I never actually ended up finishing it back then. Um, I had it on an, uh, on an Xbox 360 I believe and didn't end up finishing it. New generation came along and this game uh, sort of just skip this. Um, so yeah so this game sort of fell by the wayside unfortunately. Um, but yeah for those of you who don't know it was um, created by R.A. Salvatore, um, the, the universe, uh, the game universe and the lore behind that. Um, it, it was a big budget game, really big budget game, um, was released generally, people liked it, some people didn't, and it just didn't do very well from a sales point of view. Um, I mean, the, 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 game, the game just cost way too much unfortunately and they just didn't make that money back and the developer went out of business. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to revisit this game and I'm really excited to play through this. I feel like this game needs more um, more exposure, more people need to know about it, more people need to try it and you can get it for absolutely dirt cheap on Origin nowadays as well. So we're going to jump straight into this, let's head into the game and yeah, for some, for some good role playing time it is absolutely fantastic. So we'll start a new game, start that on normal. I'm not going to speak over any of the cutscenes, we'll watch those together. And, uh, and we'll, we'll take it from there, so enjoy guys. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken, a force Powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faith. <laughs> but Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two eyes are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fey do heal death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least that is what we believed, until you died. Alright, so we get that intro building things up quite nicely. As you can see, it's a real high fantasy what RPG. Alpha, Goran, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Goran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. 
as we can tell we're so we're dead this is our character creation um and of course we're not going to stay dead we will we will be coming back so we've got either male or female uh, gender options as well as four different race races to choose from so look here we've got the almain almain are a warlike religious nation of a storied origin many almain came to the phalen seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland so they get a bonus to blacksmithing alchemy and persuasion uh, the Varani are hardened by the high seas, just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. So more of a melee class, I guess, as we get a bonus to mercantile and lockpicking as well as detecting hidden. So I guess they can sneak around a little as well. Pirates, they're there to steal, so something pretty cool. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. The Yosulfar are proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north think nords from uh, from skyrim uh, they judge themselves fit to divine right from wrong under wind sun and sky and meet an even-handed justice so sagecraft dispelling and alchemy bonuses so more of a mage class and then we get the Dokkelfar, who are renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy while they do not shy from conflict they prefer to resolve disputes subtly and with grace or efficiently in silence sagecraft stealth and persuasion bonuses so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go purely from an aesthetic point of view. The Dokkelfar look really cool, so I'm going to go with them. Uh, we've got hours and hours ahead with this game, so it's going to be great to to at least have someone who's decent to look at. So now we're going to choose our patron. Um, what religion are we going to follow? So if we go with Athene, goddess of wisdom and art, we get a 10% mana bonus. Aurelia, the goddess of love and beauty, gives us 5% health bonus as well as a 1% chance to critical hit. Balin, the god of death, gives us a 1% chance to critical hit and 8% critical hit damage. Lyria, goddess of fate, magic and luck, 5% mana, 5% mana regen per second. Lupoku, god of mischief, patron of brewing, gives us 6% poison damage, 6% poison resistance. Or if we go with none, our self-sufficiency will yield its own re rewards. So I think that our Dokufar, he's going to go with none. He, he's, I mean, he was already left for dead. He's been, he, he doesn't believe in in any patron at all so he's going to be self-sufficient we're going to get that experience bonus he's a all right guys so i've jumped ahead uh through the character creation i'm not going to make you sit through that but that's what we look like all right then make sure it goes into the report you know he'll want all the details amazing how well the body held up better than i've seen i'm just glad it's not moving must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? <laughs> Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Oh, we'd like a name. There we go. So we're going to enter our name. We're just going to go with the channel name. So this is BL Retro the Dokkelfar. Um, and we're going to start our epic journey right down here in this mortuary. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Alright, so born under a lucky star, we are still alive. So we're going to start our journey here and I absolutely can't wait. And to be fair, this game looks pretty decent. Um, I mean, for saying it came out in 2012, this, this is an 8 year old game. Um, and it looks it looks pretty good if you ask me. Um, you know, it's it's held up well enough. Uh, like, I mean, it's, it's easily playable today. Um, so yeah, pretty clean look, nice fantasy look. So let's see, we're gonna find a way out. 
pick up disposal notes. Secrecy is still important in our work, requiring specialized disposal of our unfortunate fail failures. Piling remains have become a concern in the lower cavern, so an incinerator has been added to deal with the waste. So this should make disposal work slightly less horrible, although you should avoid drinking water from downstream of the ash dumps. Hardly a fitting rest for the poor things, but if it's any consolation, these weren't their original bodies in the first place. Hmm, interesting. So we're going to take that. Uh, so, I mean, just dead bodies everywhere. We can see the piles and piles of death hanging around. And as we go through the story, we'll find out why that is. So let's take a rusty sword. Right, so we're going to equip that. Okay, so we've got some means of defending ourselves now, at least. Oh, sorry, dude. Okay, well, he's gone now. So, so, yeah, pretty much we're down in this little mortuary sort of idea. Um, looks like we've missed something down here. Did I miss something? Yes. A bit of gold there. Never hurt anyone. So we get our taste of our first enemy. I don't quite remember how to lock on in this game, but I guess we're just gonna head in. I'm gonna take these rats out. So the the combat's gonna look a little, um, I guess, a little basic for right now. But as the game gets on, it gets a little more complex, and enemies have more health. Uh, it does become pretty cool. Um, there's more mechanics added in. Um, but we'll we'll see that as we as we head through the game. These guys don't look like they're having a great day, do they? Yo, so, up there, please help me. Let's, let's jump please. down and let's save this guy. I'm gonna take these soldiers out. Okay, to dodge, move and press B. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna be leaping around here. There we go. Take these guys out. And the combat makes you feel absolutely badass in this game. Really cool, really cinematic. The soundtrack is awesome. So let's loot this, take some worn leggings, open the chest, oh <laughs> here comes this little guy running to thank us. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You have come a long way. I've seen you before. On the slab, you, you were dead. I was, but not anymore. By the dome it worked. You're alive. <laughs> Why are we surprised? I'm not no, dead. No, clearly not. Not anymore. But you were. The well of souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. But the well restored your soul to your body and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. That's who we've been brought back. Who is Hughes? Professor Formerus Hughes. The well of souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Now I've got questions, buddy. I've got questions. Oh Who are the you attackers? Uh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tuatha Dei Oum, the enemy of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they're here. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. <laughs> well, we thanks. We never done that if we knew. That's all right. I may have my way back here. So where's Hughes? He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. All right. And so we're going to go and find I Hughes. Goodbye. Thing. Thank you. So let's equip the armor that we have gotten. So put some new leggings on. New boots. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're moving up in the world. 
Let's see what else we can say. We've got some armor here. So yeah, so this game is a real, you know, classic RPG. Level up, um, find some loot, learn some new powers, take some quests, and it's just, a, it's a really good time sink. It really is. There's, there's a lot to do in this game. Break through as much of this as we can. Um, yeah, there's, there's really, there's so much to do, and it's so much fun um, that it can be a real time sink. Um, and it's a real value for money as well. Um, let's equip the rest of armors. That's better, better, and better. Alright, so let's go and find Hughes. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The well of souls. Imagine an end to hope. An end to death. That's so what we've gotten so far is that somehow this well of souls has brought us back and it's gone again. Great! Great, good job. Good job, guys. Fantastic. Oop. Okay, item radio. Cool. We've been smashing objects, thank you game. Okay, so now we need to find a shield. So the shield should be hidden somewhere behind these boxes, if I remember correctly. We should have a chest somewhere. Where are the boxes that it's hidden behind? Is it these? Oh no, we've got it in this weapon rack. Okay, so let's take that shield. So if we equip that. Wait! Do you hear something? Okay, so now if we press that, we now have a shield. Fantastic. Here's the hidden box. I knew there was a hidden box in here somewhere, or a hidden chest, I can say. Um, let's loot that. We get some gloves, gold coins, gold pick, healing potions, a lock pick. Let's put those gloves on. And what's behind here? Oh, I don't want to be sacrificed. I want my chest. Move. Get out. Ow. Take you out. Take you out. There we go. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. I'd love to take the bow. What's in here first? So we've got some flimsy greaves and a lockpick. Are those better than what we've currently got on? Oh. Quests. Yeah, we've only got the one quest going on. Uh, let's check these flimsy greaves. They're definitely better than what we currently have on. So let's put those on. So those are heavier armor. Um, I think we may go for a heavier armor playthrough in this. Um, I guess we'll see what we pick up. We'll we'll take it as it goes. Um, but yeah, let me let me go grab that uh, that bow. Did we even beat this guy? Did you kill him? Where did this guy even come from? I don't remember fighting anyone here. Okay, well, good job if you did take him out. Um, okay, so we've now got this bow over here. I don't remember how to use it. Oh, it's with. There we go. We can wrap up. Oh, okay. The arrows refill in this game, that's correct. So there we've got, if you look on the top left of the screen, we've got five arrows. Um, so that's that's our secondary sort of our secondary sort of weapon um, that we have as a ranged option. Uh, okay, where are we going now? Oh, we came down from there, didn't we? Okay, so let's follow the icon on our mini-map. Oh. Hold that down. I'm gonna take these guys out. Different 
death swift and silent. Okay, let's head out. Let's go. Let's go. Did I miss anything back here? Oh, we're okay. Do a charge shot to this guy. I love this guy coming through here. Let's bring him out. Oh. Let's just take him off with our sword. So yeah, once we get out of this this mandatory uh, mandatory dungeoning area, um, or mandatory, I guess it's almost like a prison to start out with, um, and we see the open world, you'll see what I mean about how much um, about how much there is to do in this game, and just how beautiful this game is. Um, really, it 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 just flew so under the radar. I feel like so many people don't even know about this game. Um, and it's a it's a real shame because it's really it's so much fun. Let's put these rusty leg plates on. Um, yeah, it's really it's it, it's such a fun game, and just daggers no one knows about it. Ah, I remember daggers. Do we use a dagger bolt? Should we go for a rogue in this playthrough? I think that's not a bad idea. I think that I've just decided what playthrough we're doing. So let's go, let's put these lighter armors back on. So we're gonna go lighter armor and we're gonna use daggers and be all sneaky. That's a new gauntlets there, but we're not gonna use those because those are heavy. I remember daggers being extremely cool in this game. So let's see, let's see how they treat us. Press RB to enter into stealth mode. Let's go up and be real sneaky like. Get up on this guy. If the eye falls up, we'll be noticed. We're not going to be noticed. Take him out. So, yeah, this game has a little bit of everything a little bit of stealthing, a little bit of uh, Metal Gear Solid going on there. I'm not trying to talk to you, Encel. Loot the soldier. What is that curious that we just got? Yeah, that's a heavier armor, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's sneak up on these guys. Yes, we're probably gonna be able to take out one of these guys and then the other guy's gonna notice us, surely. Yep, so let's take him out. Beautifully done, smooth and efficient. Right, so what do you have? Did we not take him out? He's still here. Get out. Die. Okay, so let's take that lock pick. What have you dropped for us? Presents, 15 gold. And I don't know why that came flying over here. So let's open this door. And we're gonna head back down into that wall of souls. So if we hold that, we've now got abilities and we can use Storm Bolt. Let's use Storm Bolt on this sensor. So yes, there's so much that we can do in this game. So many different bolts that are possible. And we'll, we'll, we'll just take it as it comes. Like I said, I think we're going to do a bit of a rogue build with some daggers, but we might add some magic into that. There's so many different options. Um, that we do have. So regarding the spiders, Hughes, per your request, we finally got the spider problem under control. Claude will try to take credit for an efficient cleansing with his Praetorians, but I feel he overstates his case and fails to recognize the value that my own quick thinking and scholarly work provided to this successful operation. While overseeing the spider purge, I noticed that those guards who were affected by spider venom exhibited stiffness of joints and tightening of skin, symptoms which suggest a possible solution for the internal cohesion problems of some of the world's creations. I would have studied these symptoms in more depth at the time, but the guards willfully and flagrantly disobeyed my orders to delay application of antitoxins. As such, I request that we capture some of these spiders in order to harvest their venom and for future testing. Furthermore, I trust that these insubordinate guards will be punished immediately. For my steadfast pursuits of knowledge, I require no medal nor promotion. 
all I, will, all, all I would ask is that you please reassign me off of subject disposal detail. So you can't blame him. That doesn't sound doesn't sound great at all. Doesn't sound like a good time. Um, so yeah, I, I don't blame him for wanting to be away and out of that. Look at this game. It's so cool. I've just these little little touches, little bits of extra detail. You can see that a lot of work and love went into this game, and it's it, it's just such a crying shame that we that we've only seen this one. Um, and we, we may possibly see more, I believe, in the future. I know that, um, I believe THQ Nordic got the rights to this game, so they bought over the rights. So it's it's very possible that we will see more of this. Uh, will we see it in this same sort of way, or will it just be a, a you know, a bit of a cash-in? Who knows, we'll see. But, I mean, THQ has done, has done some good things with the... Um, with the Darksiders series. Uh, let's look at these hand wraps real quick. Torn robes, no. That's mana regen. So we're gonna stick with this. Um But yeah, they've they've done some really great things. Oh spider Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so let's let's just take this thing out real quick. Meet my daggers. Meet my storm bolt. Get out. Alright, so we made short work of him. Required a staff, staves are the type of weapon preferred by mages. Try equipping it now. So should we go for... Instead of our bow? Do we do that? Go with the... Dagger's primary and do a staff as secondary. So we go magic and rogue. I think that's a good idea. So if we go, so we're going to have our up close and personal daggers and from a distance we can use, we can use the staff. I think that's a good idea. So let's go with that for right now. Again, things can change. They've changed a lot already in this video. Get this spider out of here. Daggers. Yeah, the staff is very, very good. I'm liking the feel of this. Making short work of these guys. Let's, let's see what I've got in here. Some old shoes, a minor mana potion, two bones and a skull. So they just pulled a full guy into them. We're like, yep, a full guy and his shoes. I don't want to know why someone was wandering around in here with only shoes and nothing else. But, I mean, if that's what he wants, that's what he wants. So... Old shoes, old boots, we'll keep those on. Alright, so let's keep making progress, keep fighting the good fight. Got some more spiders down here. Get out. Oh, still alive. Move. Get this guy out. Beautiful. Yes, so our quest right now is to leave the Well of Souls. Some more gold coins, lockpicks, healing potions. Hey, We're getting a nice little stash for when we inevitably need it later, when we meet some sort of super boss. Or I'm just going to end up hoarding the potions until the end of days, like I do in every RPG. Oh, we've got some friends here. One of them's dead. Fantastic, but what can we get from him? Oh, he's, he's got a piece of gold on him. Yep, I came out of the well. What do you want to do about it? Yep, I want to know what's in your chest, please. Ooh, new iron daggers and some armor. Thanks, guys. Yeah, they're in better condition, so we'll equip those. I'm guessing the armor is the same sort of thing. We'll equip the new stuff. It's in better condition, like I say, and then we'll just sell sell the rest later on. And we've got that shield that we haven't been using. This is where we part ways. Take whatever you want from this armor. I already have and sell, thank you. you. Just make sure you get to choose. Taking a you few things. We look armor. pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Um Oh yeah, I forgot that we've got, so depending on our persuasion stats, things like that, we have um, 
percentage chances to do certain certain options. So I mean, we've got a ninety five percent chance of need, of succeeding with needing more help. So we're gonna go for that. These might be able to help. Oh, thank you. Dwarfer, realize what you are. You'll need them. That's where you're gonna give. Minor healing potion, minor steel curtain. I can fight with you though, if you want. We can't risk you getting killed. Your have you seen what I've been doing? I don't think I'm gonna get killed. I'm not gonna get killed and so <laughs> I'll be okay. Sure, let's go find Hughes. <laughs> don't blame me for everything. This isn't my fault. I've just been brought back. Yeah, we'll take all of these, we can sell them later on. So yeah, people already seem to not like us very much, but oh well, we'll we'll take it in our stride. Anything else we can take? Here's another box here. Yeah, so I think we've we've grabbed everything we can from the armory. So let's move on. I want to at least get out of here and into the um, sort of into the 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 more open world before we end this video today, so let's carry on, let's push through, maybe we're surrounded by clicking R, okay, very nice, so we can look around and see that we've got an option over there, so I'll remember that if we, if the camera ever decides that it wants to disobey and not do as I want it to, so what do we have here? well progress log so experiments are now successfully recreating bodies 97.5 percent of the time any missing limbs or extra fingers are probably how the original subject looked rather than a magical flux on our end however full revivication still eludes us even with increased testing products are nothing more than inert lumps of skin and bone although the occasional spasm or twitch does allow hope of full success in the future i hope some of you complain or I know some of you complain that we should use cadavers and skip the corpse recreation altogether, but you must know we'd never be allowed to experiment with a subject's actual body. We may be working to recreate life, but that hardly allows us to desecrate the dead. Any further complaints can be brought to me directly, Fomorous Hughes. Okay, so this Hughes guy has been working on this clearly a lot. Um, There's been a lot of failed um, experiments and we're the first successful one. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that as, as the game goes on, we'll find out why, what they're doing, um, and why all of this is so important. Yeah, nothing else here, so let's just head through into the laboratory. You hear it, Hughes? Hughes! I have a surprise for you. dedicated to one thing, the well of souls, the pursuit of immortality, and you, you're my first success. Aw, thank if you. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. So what's going on, Hughes? I'm to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. I'll stay and fight, Hughes. Absolutely this not. is what we do. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. Have you guys not Trust seen me. what I've been doing? Oh. Have you seen what I've taken out? Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh oh. Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what. Oh, Hughes. Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. They're inside the lab. Oh, and so. No, we've got to get you out of here now, quickly. Sorry, I had to be a victim of video game tutorial and so. After the town of Gore, 
Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive. All right, let's go find Agar. Okay, look, we didn't take on these guys before, so oh. <laughs> go use, go with your little dagger. All right, let's let's leave this place. Okay, but first, what did this guy have in his tower? Oh, okay, nope, nope, we're leaving, we're leaving, bye, bye. Oh. No, thank you very much. Open, please, thank you. Oh, I wish I knew that before. Okay, so the A button sprints, guys. If you start this game, oh, okay, so if you start this game, uh, yep, A button sprints. This guy out. <laughs> what was that? All right, the last twitch of life. Okay, we'll take the gold coins. Take the luck pick. Even in the midst of this chaos, I'm just looking around and I'm like, hmm, what can I steal? What can I loot? Alright, let's get through. Mind the falling rocks. Take that healing potion, thank you. Wait, can we... Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually map these healing potions so that we have them should we need them. Map those, we'll map some minor mana potions, just in case. So I know we feel, and there we go. I say, I know we feel invincible, but um, we probably are not. And yep, that that pretty much confirms it. Let's take this, these soldiers out. This guy's resisting everything. Dodge, 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 dodge. Move. Done, take that man out. Oh. Ow, ow. No, oh, rock troll. This guy resists our magic like crazy. Great. Yep, let's use a healing potion, please. Ow. I'm not getting the hang of dodging this guy. There we go. This magic is really doing a great job against him, to be fair. There we go. And let's dodge. Beautiful. There's a bit of that stuff. Is it? Ah! Dodge, 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 dodge. Do we risk it? Do we risk it? No! Nope, we don't, we don't risk it. We don't risk it. Drink a potion. Drink a potion. Drink a potion. Just, just attack this guy. Just get him out. There we go. Take him out. And let's finish this guy off. Uh, extra XP. A bit of a gory finish. What's there not to love? And take that. Loot him, we get a ring. It's a cloudy protection shard. That's oh, got to do with sagecraft, ultra and sockable gems. Let's take all of that to equip that ring. Gives us a little bit of health, no complaints about that. So, yeah, that was. Um, that was close. Um, I don't know why we weren't drinking that health potion. Um, I don't know if I was, I, I don't know if I was pressing the wrong button. What it was, I think it was left on the D-pad. Um, 
But all's well that ends well. So we managed to take that troll out. We got ourselves a nice ring out of it as well. And we're heading out into the Alistair Glade. And look at how beautiful this world is. No more of those bricks and browns and dark colors. We have some beautiful grass, beautiful flowers. And we also have our first level up. We've got a fish swimming there in the river. And this is where our game truly, truly, truly is going to begin. So let's level up. We're going to decide on our on our path forward. Um, and let's go with... Hmm. Blacksmithing is pretty important. So much in this game is really important. Um... I mean, we haven't been overly stealthy. The spelling is going to be pretty important. Let's go with... We'll detect hidden. We'll give ourselves a skill of detect hidden. And we are going to go with finesse. So... Let us upgrade our dagger mastery, I guess. What's shadow flare? Weaving a burst of shadow magic to wound and stagger enemies in the arc before you. We unlock that, or do we just? Wonder if we get staff, scepter, and arcane weaponry. Um, I mean, I guess we'll stick with. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's stick with finesse for now. Um, we'll get one of those. Yeah, so let's go, we'll upgrade that. We'll give ourselves Shadow Flare so that we at least have a new ability. There we go, moves. Yeah, we'll look at that later. So yeah, so this is, or that was the intro to the game. Found no reagents, great. Okay, so guys, we're gonna, I think we're gonna end this here. As you can see, the game is a lot more beautiful now. Um, we've got a whole open world ahead of us. Um, so yeah, so. Yep, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, well, for joining me, I should say. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to keep making more of this game. Um, honestly, it's, it's like I say, so underrated. And um, and yeah, it only opens up more from here. So if you guys would like to um, would like to play this, go check it out in the Origin Store. It is so cheap there. I think it's available on Steam as well. Um, and yeah, uh, appreciate this underlooked gem. So thank you very much um, for for sitting down with me and going through this this first bit of this video with me if you did enjoy this please remember to like subscribe um every little bit helps it honestly does um and to hear your guys feedback on this will be will be great so thank you so much i look forward to seeing you for part two and um yeah stay awesome guys cheers